in this video I would like to prove the simple result at 360 degrees is 2 pi radians 260 degrees is 2 pi radian okay now before we find 2 pi radian let us first define what is 1 radian so 1 radian I'm not writing the same uh, the definition of 1 radian I'll explain it like this so 1 radian is defined like this if suppose you get a sector out of the circle suppose this is a sector okay so this is a sector so let me this is what I mean by a sector so this is a sector this is a sector this is part of a circle okay imagine this as a slice of the cake so this is a sector okay now by definition one radian is if this and this are equal they are radius if this is r this is also r and if this is also r this angle that is formed at the center is called one radians I'll write reds okay so this is the definition that is if angle formed at the center by an arc which is equal to the radius of the circle is one radian so in if you want to say this in short one radian one radian corresponds to one radius arc length Okay, or one if an arc length has a radius of has a length of one radius, the angle at the center is called one radian. So let us make up now to understand this. Now imagine this is this is a particle. If it moves 360 degree, it has moved 2 pi r, the length of 2 pi r. So we want to prove this. So let me make up a column. So I'm going to make two columns. One is called the arc length, and the other is for radian. The other is for radian measure. So we defined when the arc length is r, when the arc length is r, you get one radian. That's the definition. When the arc length is r, you get an angle of one radian okay now for the whole circle what's the arc length that is nothing but the circumference of the circle so 2 pi r is the arc length of the whole circle would give me that's what I want to find that is this corresponds to 360 degree when a particle moves 2 pi r can I say it has moved a distance of or in terms of degrees it has moved 360 degrees so this so I'll write this in bracket. This corresponds to the particle having moved 360 degrees. That is what I want to find. So that I'll write as say x or uh, uh, radian measure. So let me write that as r. Okay, let me write that as capital R. Okay, that's what I want to find. So writing this as a ratio, can I say r over 2 pi r? Because the ratio of this is equal to the ratio of this. This is 1 over r and this r corresponds to 360 degree i hope you understand again i'll repeat when this particle moves 2 pi r length it is equivalent to have moved 360 degrees so so can i make this implies r over 1 making reciprocal of this is equal to 2 pi r over r so i can say r is equal to 2 pi r sorry r 2 pi r this r and r gets cancelled uh, this r and r gets cancelled let me use a different color this so this r is equal to 2 pi and i this means therefore i can say 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi we don't write radians but just let me write here 2 pi radius so from this implies 180 degree is pi radians okay we don't write radians 90 degree is pi by 2 45 degree is 
pi by 4. So this is what I generally remember. 180 degrees is pi. If you know this, you can find, you can change any degrees into radians. Okay, so this is 90 is half of 180. 45 is. So if someone is asking me what is 30 degree, so I'll go, I'll think, 30 is how much of pi? 30 is. 30 how many times? 30 goes in uh, 180 six times. So 30 is 1 6. So this is pi by 6. Okay, so 120, 120 degree is 30, mm, this is, or if you want to change this, so uh, 180 degree, or you can think like this, if pi by 6, 30 degree is pi by 6, 120 is 4 times pi by 6, which is 2 pi by 3. Okay, and so on, you can convert any degrees from any degrees to uh, radians.